<laughs> oh, anyway. So, guys, uh, what's up, everybody? Ross with RWGresearch.com here. Um, yeah, so what are we doing? I've got this controller, which seems to be off, because actually I have no idea what the heck happened. To be honest, there it goes. Something broke, something stopped. I don't know, what do we got? Oh, we got this controller running. Where are we at? Eh, we're charged. It's 171.2 volts in. If you guys remember this old controller, I used to run this thing to run my 3D printers. I since then have this giant cable coming in my house. It comes down over there, through that spool, through the wall. And I'll show you where it goes. It goes all the way to the outside. Kids didn't put their blankets away. That's you. <laughs> All right, so let's go out here. Blackberry! Hi, Blackberry. You want to say hi to the people? Say hello, people. I'm eating. I'm eating all the stuff. I'm eating all the stuff. What kind of stuff are you eating? Huh? What kind of stuff are you eating? What eating? What are you eating? Mm -hmm. Huh? What is this stuff? You cleaning up the yard? <laughs> all right, so that cable actually comes right there. Under that, right here, and goes in this box. And what is this box, you might ask? Well, actually, this box goes to these solar panels, which I can't seem to get a good picture of. So I actually found these solar panels on the side of the road. There they are hanging off, and they were all smashed. Let me see if I can actually get you up there. They're a little dirty, I haven't cleaned them, but... So they're smashed, but here's the thing. Those are the ones we were using to make electric arcs and uh, Doing some fun stuff with so there's four panels up there connected in series So it gives me about hundred and seventy one volts right now with the very cloudy sky and um, No load of course So yeah, that fat cable right there is something I had for a long time I finally found a good use for it. I had to splice it, it was a pain in the arsky it's a big cable. So I've got actually two pair going in and two pair coming out. Um, I do have fuses inside this box, which is screwed shut, so I'm not gonna open it. But yeah, so the real question is, is how am I going to actually use this power? Because everything I own is only 24 volt, and I don't have any inners, in, inners I don't have any inverters or DC converters, hi Blackberry, of the right thing. Hi Snowflake. They fight each other, so they're separated. So I don't have any good way to actually get this power transfer. But what I thought about doing is using the 52 volt DC battery and just hanging some lights out here and actually just making lights, you know? Because that would be something I could do. I do still have the solar panel on the roof, the ones that you guys saw me uh, heat water with. And the wires do still come down and they're still connected to this thing, which I should probably get out of the weather. But there's a little DC-DC converter, 12 volt DC, so this would work, it's 12.5 amps. So I have another one of these, I could use it, and I probably should use it. So 12.5 amps would run quite a bit of lighting outside, right, so I could do that, and that's an option. Um, but otherwise, I don't have a good way to tie it into the AC power. So I thought about using a bunch of different things. Um, one of the things I thought I was going to use what are you making, Lily? Let me see. Okay. Oh yeah, mommy's gonna like that. That's nice. Lily's the artistic. She's just draw well, anything. She's amazing. So I thought about using a uh, a variable frequency drive to get me uh, something. I also have this battery backup, but it runs off 24 volts. This would allow me to run my air conditioner in the garage. This is the one I modified. That runs the uh, extruder. If anybody wants that filament extruder, let me know. I might sell it to you. It's just sitting in a box. I need to probably get rid of it. Um, making a part right now. Printers are running. So, again, I could run this off that big battery if I could actually hook it up to the battery. <sighs> if you know what I mean. So, let's see if this thing's still on and charging. Oh, yeah, now it's charging. So, we got. 133 volts at 6 amps output, 330 watts right now on a pretty cloudy day. 
and the battery is almost fully charged so it doesn't really take full amperage right now so I don't know what full amperage looks like but it's definitely not full amperage those panels will put out 10 amps when they're brand new at 48 volt or so so 180 volt at 10 amps so we're nowhere near that kind of wattage Anyway, so that cable, yeah, comes in here, and you guys may or may not remember, but my dad brought me all these UPSs. And I do actually have them all working. I got them fired up, got them working, but the problem is, these suckers use 180 volt battery packs. Which basically just means I can't use these for this battery size, this battery voltage. So again, I have to either convert down to like 24 volt for that other ups or convert up to something like this <clears throat> now because this is 180 volt in i thought about running the solar panels directly into this and to be fair that would actually work because they'll they'll work anywhere from like i don't know 100 to 180 volt they seem to be happy but at 50 volt they don't turn on and that's what the big big battery is i got in here so it's unfortunate i literally have nothing so if anybody has anything that willing to sell me for cheap for an inverter hey let me know um that it has to require or it has to take in 52 volts 50 to mm, it needs to be it needs to be somewhere between 45 and uh i don't know 60 volts something like that somewhere in that range a little more or less whatever inverter that you probably would use for this would accept higher range voltages but Anyway, that's what I'm doing, guys. I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys and give you a brief update. I've been working on this guy. I think I may have shown you this, but if not, I'm making a video about this. It's going to be a long-term project. There was no plane left of this plane when I started. I found it in the trash. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm just trying to get stuff done. There's a lot of stuff happening on my bench once again. I'm telling you guys I'm doing more than probably you'll ever know, but... Uh, one day I'll show you what the heck I'm freaking doing. Just too much happening. Too much. Look at all this stuff. Too much stuff everywhere. Anyway, God bless. Peace and love. Thanks for watching. Uh, go read the Bible. More as always, I'm always still learning new stuff, man. Every time I get in there and learn, do a little Bible study. Always making me more uh, knowledgeable in my everyday faith travels. So anyway, God bless. See you. Bye bye.